last month or so, I have accumulated a ton of beauty related products from Amazon. Some of them I bought myself, a lot of them I didn't. So you may not be aware, but I do a live stream, like, an, like YouTube live or Instagram live, but it's Amazon live. I do it at least once a month over on Amazon. And I am considered an A-lister on Amazon, which cracks me up. It, it has nothing to do with me or my status anywhere. It's just connected to how many followers that I have on Amazon. So when you're an A-lister on Amazon, you're able to participate in certain opportunities that other live streamers aren't. It's not a sponsored stream, but once a month they have something called Beauty Hall Live where specific brands, and it changes every month, like six to 10 brands will have specific products on discount. And this past September, I agreed to participate in one of those Beauty Hall Live streams. And as a result of that, they would send me up to three products that were on sale per brand. So that means there is a lot of stuff to talk about here. Let's get into this. I'll let you know what was sent to me and what I actually bought on my own. And I've broken this down into categories. So we're gonna start first with skincare and starting with this Bioderma Sensibio Eye Gel Moisturizer, basically. So the positives, I love the packaging. It's very simple, it's squeezy, it's not in a glass jar like the majority of eye creams are these days. It is made for sensitive skin, which I can very much appreciate. It's safe for contact lens wearers. It is a very, very lightweight moisturizer. So if you have really dry skin or very mature skin, this might not work for you. If you have very oily skin or you just don't like that heavy feeling on or around your eyes, then this would be great. I would recommend it if you fit any of those specific categories. Actually, I think this is good to have on hand for just about anyone, just in the off chance that you have something going on with your skin and it's more sensitive than usual, this would be great to replace with maybe your everyday eye cream in that situation. Now these I bought, um, they have nothing to do with the beauty haul. These I mentioned earlier as a favorite. They are the Real Beauty Miracle Patches, Invisible Spot Cover. They're pimple stickers, zit stickers. And there are 96 of them, I believe, in this package, which is why I like it, because the price is the same as what you normally pay for like 30. So they come in two sizes, a 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter. You can see them there on the film. All right, let's talk about this little internet sensation. This is from L'Oreal. It's part of their Revitalift line. It's the hyaluronic, I think it's two and a half percent. Yeah, two and a half percent hyaluronic acid plus caffeine meant to be used morning and night. And again, it is very lightweight. I mean, it is a clear liquid and it's got a really interesting delivery system. See those little metal balls? They kind of rotate. It's kind of like a little eye massage every time you put this on and it's meant to be used under the eyes and on the lids as well. And it's supposed to plump everything out and make your crow's feet disappear and your fine lines disappear. The only thing that's gonna do that is Botox, at least here. I don't know what to do about these, but um, I will say that they reduced visibly, but they didn't disappear and it absorbs really nicely. And if you really want some extra moisturizing, you put this on first and then layer your, uh, your regular eye cream on top. I also think this works great on any fine line. So I've been using it here and here. This very much reminds me of the Hyaluronic Serum from SkinCeuticals. So I'm gonna keep using this in place of that and I'll give you an update. They say you need to keep using it for 12 weeks, so bear with me. But if you are looking to add Hyaluronic Serum into your skincare routine, this would be a good place to start. There is, I think it's a newish skincare line and I don't think it is exclusive to Amazon, but Amazon is suddenly carrying the whole line and it's called Image Skincare. And they sent me a few things. I selected a few things and then they sent me a few things, so let's talk about all of them. Okay, the first one that I was really intrigued about is this Daily Tinted Moisturizer with 30 SPF. I thought this is going to be great. Maybe this will be like Elta MD, which I love their tinted SPF. It's 100% mineral SPF, which again is what I prefer. Chemical breaks out my skin and it stings. The only problem is you have to be the right color, and I am not. So here's what it looks like on the back of my hand. I don't even need to rub this in. I'm sure you can see this is not going to work. Uh, I wish it did. If I could get this color with any kind of fake tan, I would be ecstatic, but I can't. Even rubbed in, it's just not gonna work. So if you happen to be this color, this is great. It feels really nice, it absorbs nicely, but there's not a lot of variation. As far as I could tell, there were not like light, medium, dark. It's just this. 
The other side, this I did actually pick out specifically for my husband. Uh, this is a daily matte moisturizer that's oil-free with an SPF of 32. And you know, everyone needs to wear sunscreen, everyone needs to moisturize, but I understand a lot of men particularly don't want to wear a traditional sunscreen because it leaves them shiny and kind of like they have makeup on, whereas something that would dry down matte would be perfect. So this fits that bill and it does feel really nice. There's no white cast and well, I mean, can we even take me seriously with this color hand? It, there's no reflection here. It, it dries down matte, but it doesn't feel dry. My skin feels really nice, actually. So anyone who is looking for a matte SPF 32 daily moisturizer, oil-free, I do recommend this one. And then they also sent me this Vital C Hydrating Facial Mist. It has the antioxidant vitamin C in it. I just don't think that you're gonna get the right level of vitamin C in a spray. It smells good. The mist is uh, heavy. I mean, it's not a fine mist. I think you'll feel soaking wet. I wouldn't use this necessarily to set my makeup. I think I'm making my makeup run. It has maybe a faint orange scent. I, I would give this a pass. I think if you wanna add vitamin C to your skincare routine, get it in a serum. I just, this makes no sense to me. It's kind of gimmicky. And if you want just a hydrating facial mist, there's dozens of other ones on the market that just have a nice fine mist that won't make you feel like you just walked through a sprinkler. But what I do like, it's not all negative, is this little um, lip balm. It's their Skin or Medic Sheer Pink Enhancement Complex. And it has a tiny little bit of pink to it. I'm wearing it now, I'll add a little bit more. It feels really nice. It is a very subtle shade of pink. I think it's sort of wasted as a tinted balm, but as just a balm in general, it smells good, but it doesn't have any taste to it, which is interesting. All right, let's move into some of the makeup that I picked up. So Cover FX was one of the products that was on sale last month, and I bought one of these on my own a while back. I originally have Pink Dahlia. So the thing about these blushes is they have a matte side and then they have the shimmer side, and they are very, very highly pigmented. So this is the one I originally bought a while back and then I asked them to send me Soft Peach and I absolutely love this one. So they're really, really pigmented. So if you have a deeper complexion and you've always been struggling with finding a blush that is actually going to show on your skin, you get these Cover FX blushes. However, if you're on the fairer side of the spectrum like me and you're kind of put off by really bright blush, you don't wanna look like a clown, there is a way to wear it. So what you do is you take the matte side. It's hard to swatch, but it's on this finger. Usually a blush does not swatch that deep, right? So you take that, I'm just gonna pat it a little bit, and then you take your brush and you dip it into the shimmer side. This is the key here. And when you put it, when you blend it over, it really, see, you can barely see it now. It really softens it. Let me try it again on this hand with the pink that doesn't have the fake tan on the back of my hand. So here is the pink Dahlia, very, very visible, and I will blend it in. Okay, so that's it rubbed in. And then when you take the shimmer shade and you blend it on top, it does take it down and it gives this really pretty glow, but there's no sparkle. And there are, I think, six or eight shades in this line. They're beautiful, like I said, highly pigmented. They can both be worn on their own or you can blend them. And I think this will last a very, very long time. A little bit goes quite a long way. With that, they also had on sale their Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And I got this one in the shade Moonlight. And I've been having a lot of fun playing with it. If you have a really super matte foundation that's put you off, try mixing a drop or two of this in with it. I did that and it worked like a charm. It led a really pretty glow, but I still had sort of that matte effect that you get with a foundation. Today, I'm wearing it on my lid, and you can see this is super pigmented. This is not even a full drop. It's just, I just took the actual applicator. I just took the tip of it, whatever was on it, and put that on my eye. As you can see, it's pretty glowy. If this color is not for you, see there it is. Isn't it pretty? You can use this as a highlighter all on its own not mixed in with your foundation. You can dot some 
in the middle of your lips to add a little bit of sheen. Like it's very versatile product. I think there are also at least six, maybe 10 color options. They're all gorgeous, beautiful, glowy, zero glitter, really easy to work with. And it dries down really quickly. And then the last of the cover X things, and I've had this before and I decluttered it and I couldn't remember why, so I had them send it to me again. And it's their loose translucent powder and it does come in two colors, light or deep, which is nice that they recognize that not everybody is a light tone. However, I find that it is drying. And now I remember why I decluttered it. I feel like it's a little drying on my skin, which isn't great if you have dry skin, but if you have combination or oily skin, this might be exactly what you're looking for. And I do like that it has a little bit of a tone to it. So you're gonna get a little bit of coverage with it. I am wearing it today over a well, I'll tell you about it in a minute. I also really like the packaging. I like that obviously it has a cap, but then it also has this guard on it over the sifter. It just makes it easier to keep contained and you don't get loose powder all over the place. So I really like that. And I would definitely recommend this if you have oily skin. Let's also talk about some complexion products. So like I mentioned, L'Oreal had some things in the sale and I picked out two um, of their complexion products and these could not be more different. So let's start with what I am wearing. This is Pretty new to L'Oreal. This is the Skin Paradise Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer. It has aloe vera and witch hazel, which to me are conflicting ingredients. Aloe vera is very moisturizing, witch hazel is more of an astringent, so it's baffling. Um, I got in the shade Fair 2, which is probably my exact skin tone, but I like when my complexion products are a little bit warmer. They add a little bit more warmth to my skin. Otherwise, I tend to go a little ashy and I think that's what happened here. I'm loaded up with bronzer, which is scary to think that it's still this color. But anyway, I've given this a few opportunities. I'm wearing it today, and I think I think the problem with this is that because it's water-based, it doesn't mix well with any skincare products I have on underneath it. So what I have found with this product is that it just sits on top of my skin. All my pores are visible. It just doesn't mesh with my skin and, and look like it's part of me, it looks like something is on top of my skin. I'm wondering if you just slap this on with a bare face, how that would work, but this doesn't have SPF, so that would not be a good idea. Um, it says 24 hour hydration, luminous coverage. I would say it's definitely luminous. I've powdered and I've taken down the shine with something else we're gonna talk about in a little bit, but I just haven't had, oh, you know what does it have? Broad spectrum, SPF 19, that's not good enough. It might as well not have um, SPF. I just haven't had good luck with it. It looks maybe okay on camera, but I'm like four feet away from the camera. So if you got up close and personal and looking in a mirror, it settles in a little more as the day goes on, but it's not something I'm going to be reaching for. I would love to hear if any of you have tried this, what your feelings are now. Um, on the flip side, I also tried this product, which is definitely not meant for dry skin people. This is the infallible Pro Matte Foundation, and I got it in the shade 101 Classic Ivory. Again, probably a little too light for me. This is serious matte coverage. I think I'm liking it less because I didn't get the right color match. I do like the finish. I like the longevity. I like how it blends into my skin. I've worn it a couple times on its own, and then once with a drop of this mixed in, and if you go back to my Amazon Live that I did on September 29th, I'll link it down in the description box. You can see what it looks like. I still have that full coverage effect, and that almost poreless mannequin skin that you get with matte foundation, but there's a glow to it. It's hard to, it seems like that's a contradicting statement, but these work really well together. So if you've been afraid of wearing a matte foundation, you might wanna give this one a try, especially because it's a drugstore price, but I really like how it mixed with a glow thing. And you don't have to mix it with the cover effects thing. I mean. L'Oreal even makes a glowy lotion. Any any glowy liquid product will do, do the same thing. Revlon was also part of Beauty Hall Live, and the one thing that I got from Revlon is this guy. This is their So Fierce Mascara. Yep, that's all it's called. And I'm actually not wearing it today, and it, that was a mistake, because the mascara I'm wearing now is smudging underneath my eyes. It might be because it's like 95% humidity and no mascara could survive that, but this mascara is really nice. I love, it's a rubber bristle wand, really short bristles, flexible, really can get in there and wiggle. 
It makes my lashes longer, more voluminous. It just does everything that I want a mascara to do. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge, comes off easily in the evening with just you know makeup remover or soap and water. I really like it. So I definitely wanna recommend that. Revlon, I feel like, is one of those brands we just kinda of skip over when we're in the makeup aisle. And they have some little gems in there, and this is definitely one of them. Alrighty, let's get through sunless tanning. I've talked about this a lot, so I'm not gonna talk about it too much more. It's the Saint Tropez One Night Only. It's basically tinted body makeup. It's not a sunless tanner. It doesn't gradually turn you into anything. It's literally like painting your body with makeup. But this one is really good because there's two color options, light, medium, and medium dark. And it's translucent, so you can still see your actual skin, so it looks real. And it washes off whenever you want to take it off. You're not permanently this color. So really, really like this. There's also two moisturizers that they sent me. They're basically the same. One is tinted. They're both gradual tan moisturizers, which is nice. Tinted, not tinted. The tinted one is nice if you want the instant look of a tan, a slight subtle tan. Let me show you. So there's the tan. Do not despair. I'll rub it in. I do have blush swatched on that hand. Boy, my poor hands. So it's a subtle tan, but it's nice. Kind of takes the edge off that glare that's coming off of my very white skin. So I like it. And then on the days where you don't need that, I mean, if you're wearing jeans or something, nobody's gonna see your legs, just use the not the non-tinted one. Um, this one is medium dark, and this one doesn't have a, have a designation. I don't know what color this will end up being. I can't tell you for sure what color it's gonna work because I've been mixing the two. I can tell you that they work. And this takes about three days to build up to the full color, if you are curious. Wanted to give you an update on the chlorine Chlorine, chlorine dry shampoos that were also part of the beauty haul that I did not buy that were sent to me. They sent me three. These two are the same. This one is non aerosol. This one is aerosol. It's the one for the more gentle dry shampoo, ultra gentle for all skin types with oat milk. Um, I get why these are cult favorites. It, it does give you a white cast, but it absorbs really quickly. And once you just rub it in, it goes away. I used it before I had my hair done. So I had like roots to here and I can tell you it does absorb well into darker hair. And I really love that they have a non aerosol option because I feel like for volume, this is just the best way to get your hair really big using dry shampoo. So I love that. All right, let's jump into the just tools and other category. I can't even explain what category some of this stuff goes in. Let's start with the stuff that I bought. So this was recommended by so many of you. I got so many DMs about this little product. It is from Revlon, and I forgot to write down the exact name, but it's the Volcanic Rollerball. And you're thinking, what, what is this? Okay, so check this out. It looks like a, a little pumice stone. It doesn't feel like a pumice stone, but it feels like a little stone, and it's, I guess, made out of volcanic rock. And when you get glowy, I'm looking in this makeup mirror that I got. Um, you just roll this in the glowy parts, and it absorbs the oil, and it doesn't take off your makeup. It's so cool. And it immediately takes down the shine, absorbs the oil. Look, no shine. And then this little guy, I don't want to deal with it right now because it's, it, some, you can pop this out and wash it and put it back in and you're good to go. And I love that it's not a powder. It's not those little tissues. It's tiny. This could fit in every purse. I think this is genius. Wish I had had this through the summer. Would have been great, but it's still hot enough here that I'm sure... I will be using this all the time. I'm gonna order another one and just keep one in my purse at all times and then just have one in the house. So fabulous. Thank you guys for the recommendations. You were right, you nailed it. Also an update on the shower steamers. These are these little individually wrapped, look like little baking soda discs. I mean, they look like dishwasher tablets. And I have two, the eucalyptus and mint, and then the other one's like orange and ginger or something like that, a citrusy one. And I've been getting migraines. Allergy season is around the corner here again. And you unwrap it and you put it just not quite, quite directly in the stream of the shower. And within seconds, your shower stall is just filled with the scent of eucalyptus and mint. And if you've got a headache or a cold or sinus issues, this is incredible. You have got to get these. It made such a difference. They're so awesome. It's a giant pack of them and it's not inexpensive, but I think it'd be a really fun holiday gift if you bought a bunch of the different scents and packaged them together individually in like a little medley and gave them as stocking stuffers or like little teacher gifts. It'd be great. These are really awesome. 
Oh, I want to give an update on my new makeup mirror. Here it is. I love that it doesn't have a cord. I love that it's got the LED lights. You tap it once to turn it on and two more times to adjust the intensity of the brightness. And there's three modes. There's this mode. That one is definitely the warm yellow one. And that's, I think, the cool tone LED. Um, so that's kind of fun. I like the more neutral lighting. And I like that it has this 10X makeup mirror. And when I'm not using it, I just stick it on the back like that. And then when I am using it, it goes right there. And I can really see when I have to tweeze my eyebrows and things like that and tweeze other parts of my face that when you get close to the 50, you will know what I'm talking about. Um, one thing, they made it seem like you charge it once and it lasts for months. I'm finding that it lasts about a week. And so I need to charge mine once a week. Maybe I spend too much time in front of the mirror. I don't know. I'd love to get feedback if anybody has this. It's the Conair one. Um, also, I forgot to mention, it does do this. So it's nice. It's, it's a great mirror. Whoops. I think it would also make a nice little holiday gift. It reminds me a lot of the Simple Human makeup mirror. Much, much lower price tag. This was sent to me, though. I should point that out. Let's end this with two sets of brushes that are not a new concept to me, but um, they were part of the sale, so I had them send them to me. Actually, I think there's three things in here. One is, they're all from Real Techniques. One was the Everyday Essentials, then I got a set of their eye makeup brushes, and then I ordered the concealer brush separately. So the Everyday Essentials, I think they're great. This blush brush I've talked about early on when I was uh, first starting out in YouTube. I think it's great in all ways for a blush brush, except it's too big. It's literally the size of most of my face. So I think this is great for bronzer because I think it gives a really nice diffused look, and because it's fluffy, going to blend. The brush is going to do the work for you. It includes the Expert Face Brush, which is one of my all-time favorite brushes to apply foundation and even just to kind of dab in concealer over a larger area. I love this brush. I did get the uh, Expert Concealer Brush. That is a separate line item. I'll include that on its own down in the description box. And this is a very nice kind of, it's, it's not flat and thin like a traditional concealer brush. You can see here it's got some density to it and I like that you can use the tip to really blend it in or you could pat it's really versatile I think this is a great concealer brush the essential set also includes the setting brush which is a brush I use constantly to powder right here and get into any little crevices so I think it's also a great multitasker it's really good for highlighter as well in the eye collection of brushes they give you quite a few actually I think one of these might go in the essentials but there is a lot of brushes here, and I think that you can do a great eye with all of these. I think there's some great standouts, like this one in the middle here, the smudger brush is fabulous. You rarely see a good crease or socket line brush at this price point, and there are two that are great. Usually I find in the drugstore brushes that they are too dense and they are too compact for putting in color on the crease or socket line. And one of them is, it's good for detail work in the outer corner, but I think it lacks a really good brush for the general socket line or crease. But then this one, while it's not the fluffiest, it is a little too dense for me that what I want to do, like a diffused socket line or in the crease. But what's unique about this, and I haven't really seen it in a drugstore level brush, is that it's long and a little more wobbly. So it can, get into the crease really nicely and it's not so stiff that it's going to give you a cut crease look it's really nice for a little more detail work a little more diffused than this shorter one but if you want that blown out smokier look the set doesn't really have anything like that it's kind of lacking i find that most drugstore uh, brushes do that i'm spoiled with the bk brushes i'm a huge fan i have gone on to add more to my collection. It's kind of a middle price point on the brushes, but if you are looking for just an entry level kind of thing, or somebody who's just getting into brushes, or you're looking for some fun gifts, maybe for a younger person starting to get into makeup, I think that both of these sets are a really good idea. If you're still sticking around, this has nothing to do with Amazon, but you might have noticed this necklace that I've been wearing throughout the video, and I just wanna give a shout out to my friend Natasha. You've heard me talk about her many, many times. National Tash over on Instagram. This is part of the second collection. I think it's the second, maybe the third collection that she designed with accessory concierge. And this is part of it. And I just love it. It's a statement necklace that goes with so many things because of this 
rainbow of colors. It's not a heavy piece, but it's a substantial piece. A lot of details, a lot of different sizes in the beads, the gold accents. I just think they're really fun. And then I just wanted to share, these are some the newest releases from Kendra Scott. And these are more of like a very kind of 90s hoop. They're really thick, but basically like um, almost like a huggy style. But in Kendra Scott fashion, they're very lightweight and they are easy to wear. Well, I hope you enjoyed some of this insight on the many products that I have accumulated in the last month. I am having some girlfriends over the next couple of weeks and a lot of these will be finding new homes with them, but there are some definite keepers here. As always, if you have any experience with any of these products and insight that you want to share, this is a community. It's just not me telling you stuff. It's a back and forth. So let's keep the conversation going down in the comments. Let me know what you think of these products. And if they do work for you or don't work for you, please remember to include like what kind of skin type you have, how you like to wear your makeup, that sort of thing. As always, it was great hanging out with you virtually. Wish we could all be here together. That's why I do enjoy the lives. We get that instant feedback. So if you're not following me over on Amazon, I'll put that down in the description box as well. Thanks for hanging out today. I'm so glad you chose to spend some of your time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.